Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It's Roland Garros, and it's the biggest tournament of all time on the men's side. We've got Novak Djokovic trying to level up the score with Rafael Nadal on 21 apiece. But there are some other guys who are standing in the way, most notably Stefano Sissipas. He's got an easy draw, hasn't he, JG? He's just got everything going his way on the other side of the draw, whereas Carlos Alcaraz seems to have everything going against him on the same side as Djokovic and Nadal. It's a big one. We are all a bit disappointed from the draw, let's say, but I think I'm excited about the draw preview. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a massive video coming up. So hold on to your hats, everyone. It's going to be an exciting one. Of course, the big news in the instant draw reaction is we have Rafael Nadal, Carlos Alcaraz, Novak Djokovic all on one side of the draw. Um, it means they can't meet in the final. No. Nadal has suffered with a few injuries. Alcaraz looked primed and ready, but inexperienced. Novak Djokovic, on the other hand, just won Rome. Retain well, won the title in, in Roland Garros last year. He's yep. looking the freshest and the best candidate sort of coming into this one fractionally. Um, but listen, Rafa, Magic, me, I've got to do it, man. I feel great about Rafa, regardless of any injury. I don't actually know who I'm going to be picking for this one. I've been sort of teetering between sort of the four of them. Um, I can make a case for all four. Yeah. However, there's a few I do favour. I don't know what I'm going to do in the moment, though. So stay tuned and find out. Um, of course, you can enter these brackets at home. Apologies for bringing you this video pretty late. We've had um, something happening with work where we had to go into the office and there was a social as well, which we couldn't miss, which meant this has been pushed back later and later. Uh, but we are here now. And Ben can announce what you can win if you win the overall bracket. Yes, it's absolutely massive because... TNNS, are, have I said N too many times? TNNS are offering this massive $500 prize for the men's and the women's. Look at that. This is, you cannot miss it. Look, get your picks in. Make sure you do not miss this bracket because the winners of these brackets are getting $500. I mean, I'm getting my one and I'm, I can't miss this one. You've missed one. The, uh, in Rome. Do not forget to put your picks in on this one, JG. $500 is up for grabs and you do not want to miss out. And this is thanks to TNNS. Make sure you download the app. Go on to Apple uh, Store or go on to your Android Google Play. Get the app right now. Download it. Play along with us. See if you can beat us as well because I don't know. I've got a good feeling about this run on Garros. I don't know about you, JG. It's it's a big one. It really is. So much sort of going into it. Um, a lot of talk from all sides and all, all angles. Oh, but ultimately, yeah. it's a big chance for you guys. If you feel like you have some good tennis knowledge, you feel like you know who's going to be going through these draws, you have the chance of winning $500, uh, which isn't bad at all. If yep. I am to win it, um, I am actually going to spend it all on food. I'm going to be going out Ooh. for a month solid, or probably not a month solid in London. I mean, <laughs> probably about solid. probably about a week <laughs> um, <laughs> with the way inflation's going at the moment. Yeah. But that's what I'm going to spend my money a on. Day solid. <laughs> you can call me fat. You can call me whatever you want. I am going to spend. If I win this money, I'm going to spend it on eating nice food for at least a week. I, I love the sound of that. I think uh, if I was to win the money, uh, I might have a little gondola trip uh, when I go to Venice next month. Who knows? Uh, that's the, I mean, I, th I heard it's about 400 euros an hour on these gondolas. So maybe if we win this, come on, let's get on one of them, baby. Uh, come on. I can't wait. It's exciting stuff. Yeah, of course. M uh, important to note when you do download the app, you have to hit uh, fantasy at the bottom and then leagues. And then you'll see Game to Love, one of the biggest leagues on there, approaching a thousand members the now. Biggest. Join that league and you can be entered in and win a prize by Game to Love as well. I know we've got someone asking about the Rome prizes. We do have Rome prizes, which we will be arranging to probably tomorrow now. Um, I did have some messages. I know Pard 
Christmas message yeah, in both yeah. of us. We will sort them prizes out. So if you did uh, win the Rome bracket, drop us a message on Discord and we'll arrange that tomorrow. Uh, but I've let's get into... i already so yeah, oh, you've yeah. sorted it, have you? Yeah, yeah. I've said to him, yeah, just bear with us. It's a very busy time for GTL right now. Yeah. So we will get it sent out. It might be a week. It might be a couple of weeks, but it will come to you. So do not do not worry. We've not forgotten about you. Yeah, Kathy's in. How are we doing, Kathy? Saying, I've been oh. on the gondola ride. It's great. Oh, look at Kathy go. Was there a few lizards either side, like just riding with you? I can imagine the the Kathy gondola ride would be even more entertaining than just the regular one, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's, let's get into some of the... Uh, past winners of the events because we love to do this don't we jg i don't even know who's really won this event uh there's only seems to be one guy uh whoever i mean this it. is my favorite past <laughs> champions list we've ever done roland garros when we get to this time of year and we get to look at rafael nadal i can't even remember all of the records now and all the statistics i'm sure i'll be it's reminding you over the next few weeks for as long as he stays in uh ultimately it's very unlikely he doesn't make the final um, and well, so I mean, when he makes the final, he always wins. I think he's lost really when he gets to the final. No, the only way you beat him is if you beat him early. And you yep. can see here a lot of the time, Roger Federer in the final. We've got Novak Djokovic getting to finals, struggling, sodling. We know great clay court player in his time. Uh, he also did great. However, Rafa wasn't in the final last year. Last no. year's one was between Novak Djokovic, sister pass. Djokovic and Nadal was on the same side of the draw, the same as this year. And, well, we could, well, we know for a certainty there's no chance we get to see a Rafa uh, Novak final this year. Yeah, and it's the one thing that Novak sort of alluded to in last year's French Open as well was he's happy to meet Rafa before the final. He doesn't want to meet him in the final <laughs> because he knows when he gets to the final, Rafa is a different animal. And He's now only going to have to meet him at the worst at the quarterfinal stage. Last year was semi-final. He has he Rafa's only lost what is it? A Ronald Garros, what is it? Four times, and yeah. Novak is two of the four people who have managed to defeat him there. I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong in the live chat, but that's all before the final as well. That uh, you don't really beat Rafa Nadal if he gets to the final. No, and you don't beat him when he's deep. You really don't. And you can see that. I'm not going to count them up because we know how many there are. There's 13 Roland Garros titles. Uh, it's only unlucky in the UK, believe it or not. It's not a oh, thing in other countries. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the UK unlucky have 13 as an unlucky. It's definitely not unlu unlucky for Rafa Nadal. He is going for number 14. Let's wait and find out if me and Ben think he's going to get there, though. I, uh, yeah, uh, before you uh, jumped on, I thought it was quite interesting. I thought I'd go back in time a little bit on this one, just because it's quite interesting to see where it all originated. Obviously, the French Open itself started in 1968, and we had Ken Rosewall winning, uh, beating Rod Laver. Obviously, there's going to be some people in the live chat saying I was probably at that one. Uh, but uh, yeah, Rod Laver won it the next year. We go back to when it was the French Championships, and... I'm still pretty shocked of how long it went back. 1891. And I'm quite proud that it wasn't a Frenchman that won the first French championship. It was actually a British person who won the first ever French Open, let's say. H. Briggs, mate. Doesn't even have a first name. That much of a baller, H. Briggs just steps in on the first ever French championships. And it doesn't even say it says, Given name unknown, uh, was a British tennis player residing in Paris at the time, just came in and just won the French championships. There you can see the first ever one. It's amazing, and isn't it? After that, 37 years in a row was won by French people. So this is, I mean, give or take the war, which was five years. But if you keep on going, 37 years in a row for French. Yeah, but the Perry, British, look at him there. That's it. So... The first British uh, person was the first ever winner. So there you go. Uh, and we give a shout out again to H Briggs. Don't know we've who got, he is. We've got Sam here saying, I'm sure H Briggs is alive. Let's get him on the pod then. <laughs> Why I don't not? think H Briggs is alive. Um, I think he's a bit I'd of love... a rapper name, isn't it? Like a bit H Briggs. It sounds quite cool. I quite like the name. 
I don't know about that. I think you get mixed up with gigs, but yeah. Let's That's what on. I mean, gigs. It reminds me a bit of gigs, like H Briggs, gigs. <laughs> but why not? I thought I'd bring it up. Uh, obviously, we've got some amazing people who have won it. Beyond Borg won it six times between 1974 and 81. Mats Villander was also in there. His one spread out a bit more there. Obviously, first won it in 82, and he won it three times, uh, going there to 88 as well. And there's some other names that sometimes get forgotten about as well in these things, like Sir uh, Sergi Bruguera. Like this is a name that I don't even really see that often, and he's won it twice. Uh, and Albert Costa. This is a name I'm not even really that familiar with. But another person, another Roland Garros champion, and I think we forget about all these players because Rafa Nadal has been so dominant over the, so many years. Well. It's nearly 20, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got the wrong person on the podcast to be discussing this. Um, I'm not John Silk. Uh, I'm more interested <laughs> in recent history. Uh, we know what it was like with his quiz. Where are you, John? He would have loved some of these names, but I'm not that interested, if I'm honest, Ben. Thanks oh, for right. bringing it up. I'm all about Rafa and the recent history. I like this screen we've got here. Um, yeah. And let's move on to 2022, which is the draw and qualifiers... All of our qualifiers to watch have made it through, which is amazing news. I mm-hmm. had Varias, you had Kotov. Yep. Um, and then who's the other ones I had? You have to go I down. That, I think I did they all... the list, mate. I think you've not uh, the, the list I've got here. So they've been put into the draw now, and the full list. Let me just bring it up. Uh, is this? So we have Blancano, Borges, Ugo Carabelli, Fratting Gallo. Gojo, Gombos, Kola, Kotov, Kubla, Kuznetsov, Ofna, Rodriguez, Taverna, Zeng, Varilas, Zabata, Morales, and Zepieri. Uh, so my three, Varilas, Ofna, and Borges. You've got Zabata, Morales, Zepieri, and Kotov. Kotov. Yep. And they're all made it through, but some have some tougher routes than others. Very. I don't know if you want to bring that up as well. I've, yes. I've sent you all these tweets. I don't know if you want to bring them oh, up. Oh, well, you bring it up. Apologies. I didn't see it on the tweets. Let me just bring some of those up because it is very interesting to see who some of these people are meeting. That I think it's a bit mad, to be fair. Right. Let me just bring that one up. Apologies for not having that one up before. I didn't see that tweet. Here we go. I thought, I thought when I was reading it, you had it up. I've got to see no, it too. I thought you were looking on the screen. No, that's, go, the, no, that's the names I sent. And then the next tweet is the one with the weather in the draw. Okay, no worries. I saw, I went through before you jumped on and had a look at the draw as well, just to see who they were playing. And I was like, oh, wow. Uh, because it it actually turned out that the, what I said actually sort of came to fruition a bit. Yeah, it did with... Um, Offner. The... No, not Offner. You said, um, what's the American? We'll see it on here. Can't see it too well. Who's the American Doesn't... guy? The one you, one you wanted to play against. Michael Moe, Zabata Morales. That's what you called. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the one that I would have liked to have gone up yeah. against. Michael Moe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So that one's for me. So let's have a look at our qualifiers to watch. So you've got Zabata Morales Moe. I've yep. got Offner Zverev, not a good one at all. But no, I don't know. You never know. I've got be amazing Kotov, can do it. Van der Zanschlup. It's a tricky one. That's tricky for me. Uh, look at this. Cashin made it in as well. Lucky yep. loser. So Varilas against Felix. Not Zepieri. great. Zepieri no, Hercatch. Is... That's a tough. He's That's going really out. Really tough. Yeah. Uh, keep going down. Borges versus Hatchinov. I like I that one a lot. Him. I think I he can do it. Him. But let's get into it anyway. So it is the draw time. Make sure you get up your brackets. Uh, the number one seed is going to be Novak Djokovic, as we know. And the number two seed, off the top of my head, Medvedev. is Medvedev. Yeah, of course. Daniel Medvedev is the second seed, which is pretty crazy because we know he doesn't have the best history here. Although last year did improve drastically and got all the way to a quarter final, I believe. Yep. He did indeed. Going out to City Pass, I think it was pretty convincingly yeah. though. But City Pass, this is sort of the reverse of what they sort of have on the hard courts. When they come onto the clay, City Pass has the advantage massively. So, first round Novak Djokovic, Nishioka. Djokovic out. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm going with Djokovic through. Yeah, He's going to beat Nishioka. 
Wow. Big decisions to be made already, JG. Molkan versus Coria. I've been impressed. Molkan's been doing well this week, but he isn't. It's near the final. I don't know about that. I know I he's think playing he's well. He, he won today, I believe. So most likely he is going to be in a final. He beat Alex de Menor today. Yeah. I believe. So I'm going to go Molkan. I think he's playing well. Yeah, I'm going to go Molkan. I'm going to have Chris O'Connell here to beat Badeni. Yeah, go on, Chris. Saw him inside. I'm going to have Brooksby to beat Quavas. Same. I'll go Dimitrov to beat Duron. Yeah, go on then. This is getting a little bit tricky already. I don't like it. Oh, oh we already got. Oh, I saw this one in the reaction video. This one's a tough one. I think I'm going to Berna. I'm going to go Torich. Oof. Okay. I think he's got a little bit more experience in the Grand Slam level. I'd love to see Taberna win. I'll probably be supporting him. But yeah. I think Toric at this level, a bit more proven. Taberna, I've seen some freakish results recently, which has made me think he uh, cannot handle the pressure at Maybe. times. Altmaier versus Munar. Is there a tough one? I'm going to go Munar. Munar. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're both going with the... The clay court. Schwartzman, Schwartz. I think he's he's got against not a bad qualifier to find Kuznetsov. He's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. No, nah, yeah, Kuznetsov yeah. is one of the better qualifiers to get. I, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And this one's you can't say otherwise either because you didn't pick him as a qualifier yeah, yeah. to watch. Because <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Kuznetsov, I see him going out. Varias, oh, I don't know about this one. I would love to see him defeat Felix. I feel like Valias, one of his Achilles heels is big servers. And yeah. that's the reason I think he's going to go out, unfortunately. I think Jarry I think he's going to take a set. I think he's going to take a set, but I'm going to go Felix as well, unfortunately. It's a, a bit sad because I would love to see Valias. Like, if he was against Karatsev, I might pick Valias. Yeah, me too. Ugo Karabelli, Aslan Karatsev. I'm going to go, go Karatsev. Same. Uh, I'm going to have Tabio to beat Gojo. Yeah, I think that's a good bet. Uh, I feel like we've, we've got, got pretty much the same so far. Yeah. It's a bit Kalinovic... boring that you're copying me. <laughs> Kainovich versus Opelka. I'm going to go Opelka. Me too. It's a bit boring, but he did all right in the last one. Here oh, we go. Now see what he's made it. of. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go go Kotov. He's my <laughs> qualifier he to watch. <laughs> the qualifier to watch. Beating Come on, Kotov. Van der Zanslup, by the way, is having a fantastic year across I all know, surfaces. I think he's going to beat Kotov as well. Oh, don't do it. Not just that. I want him to beat Kotov. I know you do. I don't qualifiers. like the fact you want my qualifier out. Right. Uh, Fanini Poprin. That's a tight one. I'm going to go Fanini. Yeah. I think I'll either... Fanini for a round. Stan Wawrinka. Wawrinka, he's back. He's playing well. He won a match. He won a match the other day. I'm going Can for it. Can he him. do it at Roland Garros? Beat Corentin. I want Corentin the matchup. Mutet. Go on, then. I'll go Stan as well. I just want Rafa versus Wawrinka. That's the only reason know, I'm going mad. for it. And I will be picking Rafa there against Thompson. That's a nice draw for him. Um, I'm going to have Zverev to be Ofner. What? You're qualified to watch? I thought... He's, yeah, he could beat draw. anybody on the on the tour. He can't. Might take a set. We know what's. Listen, last time I think last year he come up against um, what's the other German Oscar Otte and went down two sets. So there, then come back and won in five. Mm. So listen, is Austria. Otte and Ofna much different? No, definitely not. So there's the real possibility Zverev could struggle in it, but then can't find the way and, and win ultimately. Zverev is. The draw sort of just opened for him a bit. So we've got Sebastian Baez versus Dusan Lajevic. It's just a bit of a horrible pick, this one. I'm going to go Baez, but yeah, Lajevic, he's a bit of a bracket killer, Lajevic. Yeah, good, so. player. good player. He's... Moving down, Camille Madralazak up against Brandon Nakashima. That one... I'm not so sure on Nakashima. I'm going to go Nakashima, but he's not good on the clay. That's why I'm going to go Madrazak, I think. I don't know. I'm a bit torn. I don't know about Nakashima's clay court form, to be honest. So I'm going to take a punt and go Madrazak. Okay. Next one's tough, though. Very, very tough. I'm not really sure how I'm going to be going on this one. I know that this is a tough one for you as well. It's not, actually. 
I know you'd think that. Uh, maybe a few months. Uh, last month it would have been, but this month it's not. I'm going for Kina. Just looking a bit more solid. I think that his performance at Monte Carlo, uh, the the surface is similar. So yeah, I'll go for Kina to knock out Talon as well. Isna Quinton Howes. We've got a Frenchman. Could he cause the upset? He's been having a good year, Quinton. I think he's going to, yeah. I really do. I'm going to go Quentin House to beat Isna and cause a big, well, a big player, not a big seed anymore, but a big guy, certainly in John Isner, to go tumbling out. That's a big call. I'm not sure if I'm on the same. It's my big one. I'm going to go Isner. We can't I'm not all sure play if... it like you, Ben, with the seeds. Seeds, I've got Kotov going for you. You've got Van der Zanschlup. Yeah, but we know you've got the one, two, three, four, didn't you, at the end? <sighs> Wait and see what your one says. <laughs> Here we go. Tara Daniel, Barret. Tara Daniel, definitely for me. I'm going to go Barret because he's French. See, look, now he starts doing it. Nah, them. because. <laughs> now he starts. No, yeah, but because Tara now Daniel's we're... going to absolutely annihilate him. I'm going to, I'll give you a little separate side wager Brer won't take a single set well they're in France he it's might have a chance I don't know, you've just literally lost a point there it's a free point mm, not so sure okay well who's the next one Michael Mo Morales well go and go with my man you're going to pick my qualifier to watch I hope so I think so. it's pretty easy Michael Mo I think he will probably beat Morales uh, we Maybe. know he's not we know he's not one of the better qualifiers. He wasn't in my top three. I know Ben did include him, but I fancy a bit of Michael Moe. I do have some ears on the ground in terms of Zach. Uh, hopefully he's watching. Oh, and God. he was telling me what a presence Michael was and a really nice guy as well. So I'm going to be doing this one just for you, Zach. And I'm putting Michael Moe through. Zach losing his hearing, I heard, for those ears on the ground. Uh, right, <laughs> move down to the next one. I'm going Fritz to knock out Rodriguez to Werner. Me too. I'm going to have Nori. Nori. To beat Gennard. Yeah, yeah I, think, I feel so. Uh, sorry, Gennard. I like him. This one's close. I'm actually going to go Kubler to knock out Kudler. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go Kubler. I don't think it is as close as you make out. No? No, nah, okay, Kubler's fair. great. He's playing well. A bit yeah, disappointed yeah, he lost in Zagreb when he was there against that yeah. Misalic guy. But apart well, from that, the thing. yeah, in no, a... he didn't win the whole thing. He lost in the final. Misalic won the final. Oh, did he? Mm. Beat oh, the, I'm getting uh, mixed Christ. up. Yeah, apologies. You're right. Yeah, he, he won the whole thing. He's so... going to another final, I think, this week, Misalic yeah, as surprised. well. He's surprised he's not playing around on Garros. Yeah, where, where's Misalic? <laughs> he could have Come done on. well, yeah. Yeah, I think but so. No, yeah. Hugo Deli and Dominic Teen. It's got this to be Delian, isn't it? It's horrible. Uh, it is a really horrible thing. I'm going to go for a punt. Yeah, I don't I'm, think Dominic team's there. He's just. I don't not, think he, he is can't either. win a set, let alone a. He's not going to win a best of five. I don't think he's got the stamina. Does he? I'm going to go for him. Just in this match, I'm. I don't believe in him. I don't think it can happen. But I want it to happen, so I'm going to go for it. Sorry, Delian, but I need Dominic team to come back on the tour. He's going to have to do it at some point. Here we go. This is one of the biggest ones so far. Nuno Borges, my number one qualifier to watch wow. against Karen Hatchinoff. A very winnable match. We know Hatchinoff, he can yeah. occasionally really struggle. Nuno's going to do him. He's going to do him in five sets. Nuno Borges, let's do it for Jose Morgado. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to have oh, a of course you off. are. You're just doing it to go against me. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So Nuno Borges goes tumbling out. Uh, and In stripes? Got... Nah, I think you'd take a set. Corda Millman. All right. That was a quick decision. Uh, Gasquet to beat Harris. Gasquet. Yeah. That's it. Ramos Kokonakis. That one's tough, really. My, my my instant reaction, as you know, is always Ramos. But I'm going Kokonakis. I'm, I'm sick of Ramos at the moment. He let me down the last few. He got beaten by Chris O'Connell recently. Another... Hey, Kokonakis? Uh, no, Ramos in the last tournament. Uh, he flew over and then beat uh, Ramos, then lost to Opelka. I'm going to go Kokonakis as well. Okay. This one is coming. Could have had an easier qualifier, couldn't he, Alcaraz? Londero is a bit of an 
it's not even a. I feel like Londair. Oh no, he's not a lucky. Is he not a lucky loser? No, no, no. Clearly not, because it says Q. But I thought he lost. Oh but... yeah, no, it says here actually. What? Well, hang on, one sec. Let me check his last result. No, he lost to Gojo. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he did lose. So yeah, I'm, sur- I'm surprised weird. that says Q. Uh, it should be a lucky loser. Regardless, he's not that lucky because he's drawn Carlos Alcaraz. I think Alcaraz beats him. Yeah, Carlos Alcaraz on a sort of winning run, I feel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not whilst for a while. No, he doesn't lose to many, Alcaraz. <laughs> yeah, uh, Londero is going to have to do... Uh, his Cross-court very, very... tennis has gone triple bagel. I mean, that's, that's, that's a, bit a bit big. Mad. To Londero. Oh, to Londero, steady on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have Casper Ruud to knock out Songa. Yeah. And I say this with a really heavy heart because it is going to be Songa's final role on Garros, his final ever set? appearance, uh, playing tense. I hope Casper gives him one just for the crowd. Yeah. Um, it's actually going to be really emotional. I think there's going to be tears. It's I'll going to be, be a full call. I'm hoping everyone chooses to watch that match and they put it on a good time and a good call and they put give Songa the respect he deserves. Um me personally, growing up, he was a real icon and someone who I loved him. I grew my love for tennis grew because of him. I can I can undoubtedly say that he was one of my first loves in tennis. So um yeah, really grateful to him. Sad, but I'm gonna have him going out. I am as well. I totally echo what you said. He's <sighs> just there's just no better uh exhibition on the court than yeah. Joe Wilfred Songa. Someone with a smile on their face playing tennis on the court and just looks like just a he's just a genuinely nice guy. Yeah. That's the thing that like, you I've never heard him say anything bad about any other tennis player and well, you've got Tom need... Lazar here saying farewell Songa absolute legend. He certainly yeah, was. He's just total. Uh Rusevori versus Ugo Umber. I'm gonna go in Rusevori. Yep. Jao Souza versus uh, Chun Sin Seng. I'm actually going to go Chun Sin Seng. Yeah, me yeah. too. I think that's uh, the wise choice. Good player, I'm saying. He was, yeah. was probably my fourth on the qualifiers to watch. Yeah, I was keeping a close I was on. very close to picking him, but just knocked didn't. out the Steve, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, Giovchek. I thought you know. said Sissipas was playing Sonego. No, Massetti. Oh, Sister Pass Sister Pass. Yeah, you can't play a seed. Oh, yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Guyovchek versus Sonego. I'm going to go Sonego. Yeah, me too. TFO. Oh, 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 oh. Playing against a Frenchman. <sighs> Benjamin Bonzi. Wow. Um, that's I'm going a tough TFO. One. I'm going to go TFO in five. Okay. Yeah, I reckon that does have a few sets in it. Uh, this one has a few sets as well. Yuri Leheka, yeah. David Goffan. Purely because of David Goffan's recent form, I'm going to have to choose him. I think he's been pretty amazing, actually. He's played some he's... of the highest level I've seen from him sort of post-COVID. He has a higher level than Lehechka right now. Big ceiling, isn't he, Goffan? Yeah. I feel like he's uh, not someone you want in your section right no. now, David Goffan. Marco Cecinato versus Pablo Andahar. That's a hard one to pick. Yeah, I'd have Andaha, okay. two good clay cores. Yeah. I feel that could go five. I'm my I'm all swaying towards Andaha though. Oh, oh no. Her catch in Zapieri. Oh, really? Easy. Is that easy? Jamie Drummer's in saying Andaha, five sets, five hours. Yeah, I can see that happening. I, I really can. It is one of those matches, Chechenato and Aha. I see it many long rallies, many juices, many just like break breaks of serve as well. I see in that match. Hmm. Zeffieri, her catch though. Hmm. Could Zeffieri step up into the uh, big leagues? I don't think he can, sadly. It's a bit sad. Next one. I think you need to speed up, Ben, with some of these ones. Right, you know you're going to pick. Holgaroon to knock out Chapo. I'm going to go for really? it. Really? Yeah. Is he not playing a final as well? Did he win yeah, today? Yeah, but I think he's young enough to be Did able to Did he beat Nori? Uh, I didn't see. I'm not sure. I'll have a quick check if you like. Yeah, it's fascinating. <laughs> I no, didn't. didn't. I, I lit- so he oh, lost. No, maybe he loses to Chapo then. What was the score? It's very close. Three sets. 
Lost 6-4 in the third. Ooh. I'm going to go Shapo. All yeah. right. I'll stick with it anyway. I'm going to go Rune. Just I need I feel I'm feeling there's going to be a, some sort of upset coming in this first round. I'm going to have we? Pedro Martinez. I'm going to go Kaki in here. I'm going to go Laxonen. Okay. He actually remember last year knocked out Batista a goot. Yep. Big match out as well. Yeah. In four sets as well. Um Gone Boss versus Cash in. You go, I'm gonna go Cash in. Yep. Gaston Dimonor. <laughs> I'm going Gaston. He's good, isn't he, in Paris? Yep. He really That's what is. I mean, man. He's I'm a bit going... mad there. He, the crowd are the on crowd. his side. Up and above. Hey! <laughs> Gaston, drop the shot. This guy know. never gets I'm it gonna wrong. I'm going to go Alex Dimonor. Oh. Dan Evans, Serendolo. Oh, what a, oh, what a oh. matchup that is. I'm going to go Francisco. Yeah, man. That's a real tough one for Hard me. Not to. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Francisco as well. I want... Francisco to I feel like he's more of a clay quarter. I want to see him progress. Ema Duckworth. Ema for me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like he's more at home on the on the clay than Duckworth. Pui Cola. I'm gonna go Cola. I'll go Cola as well. Uh, Massetti. Remember Sissipas. what happened to Pui last time? No, <laughs> we him he's out. got another wild card as well. I mean, why do you keep getting these wild cards? It's in France. Sissip has to go out to Massetti. It's not at this. I don't know. It's not. This that, is a big call. It's not that crazy to suggest Massetti can beat him. It's not that mad. He plays well at Roland Garros. Massetti. He went up two sets to Djokovic. That's a bit mad. He, isn't playing it? Like, well. he did the exact same thing that uh, Sissipas did to Jokovic. Listen, if you're listening to this, you've got some balls, you could potentially go Massetti here. I'm not. I don't have the balls right now. Mm. I'm going to go Sissipas. It's a bracket decider. If you picked Massetti in this part of your bracket and he wins, like you've and he cleaned up the ga- section. Yeah, you you nearly won the whole bracket. Mm, you still need the winner. Five hundred dollars on you the need line. The winner, right How on big Garros. are your balls for five hundred dollars? You need to win the the whole roll as well. Yeah, Massetti wins but... the whole thing, and you predict it, then you'll definitely win the whole five hundred dollars. <laughs> if Massetti wins Roland Garros, that would be mad. Imagine he wins a Grand Slam before Alcaraz. That would be. We go. We've even... got some good names coming in the chat. We've got Benny No Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the JG No Balls? He's got some. You wait to the end. Uh, I'm going to have Rublev beating Quan soon. I'm going to go Manorino to beat Del Bonis. Uh, I'm going Del Bonis. To lose to Benoit Pair. Benoit Pair is going to get take a, take a of match he is, here. He's French, mate. Of course he's going to win. Uh, Garin, I'm going to have to beat yeah, Paul. Same. Uh, I'm going to go Bastias Fili to beat Crazy. This one's tough. Agamemnon versus Mac. I'm going to have Mac Donald. I think I have Agamemnon. I don't like that's the how name. you say his name, definitely. What, Agamemnon? How do you Agamemnone. say it? Yeah, I know, but it's spelled Agamemnon. It's Agamemnone. In, in Italy, yeah. No, that's how you say his name, Agamemnon. Agamemnon. No, I'm not having that. Uh, Caballos <laughs> Buena Oscarotte. I'm going to go Oscarotte. <laughs> I'm going to have him as well, yeah. Go on, you can go first for a few. Go on, fire through a few. Sinner. Babe. Yep. Buster. Yes, I can agree with that. Just about. V- v- Vesely. No, nope. Steve Johnson I'm going to have. Oh, I'm not sure on the clay. Sorry, Steve. I'm um, One of my big uh, big fanboy moments. I'm going to have Fuchovic. Me too, yep. Chilic. Yep. Um, Ketsmanovic. Oh, this is where Kets. Oh, that's one player I've not really looked at. I Legend. didn't realize he was this part of the draw. Yeah, not big. bad actually. It's a He'd good one. There. Ketsmanovic could have yeah. a really good run. Twenty-eight seed as well. I didn't realize he's a seed. Yeah, man. mate, he's got a, an amazing draw. Uh, Ryan Denek Bublik. I'm gonna go Ryan Denek. I'm gonna go Bublik. 
I'm going to go Laszlo Zier and Medvedev from the bottom. Yeah, go on then. We'll Shut have him out. going. Right, let's get back to the top. So, so, round of 64. A lot of tennis matches here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Djokovic, Molkan, a repeat of the Belgrade final, I believe, from last year. Same yeah, result. I'm going to go Brooksby to beat O'Connell. Yeah, I feel the same. I'm going to have Dimitrov to beat Choric. Dimitrov to beat Taberna. I'm going to go Diego Schwartzman to beat Munar. Schwartzman to beat oh, Munar. It's all the same, Ben. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have Felix to beat Karatsev. The same. I'm going to go... I'm going to have a Pelka. I'm going to go a Pelka to beat Tabio. These look good in the tournament this week, a Pelka, to be fair. I'm going to have Vander. This is where we are definitely different because I'm going to have Van, uh, Botic van der Zanslap beating Fanini. I'm going to have Kotov beating Fanini. Yeah, I would agree if that, if that happens. Nadal to go out to Vavrinka. No, no. All right. They go okay, through. Let's, let's, don't just skip past this one. <laughs> Can Stan take a set against Rafa? Can he beat him? Let us know in the live chat. Can Stan Wawrinka upset no, Rafa Nadal? No. It's a big ask, isn't it? It's like the biggest of asks. If there's ever been an ask, that's the biggest ask. Is Vavrinka really back? But if Rafa's injured, yes, he can. I don't know. It's a bit mad. I don't feel like he's got enough, though. Right, Imagine the move. backhands just firing that day. Just keeps going down the line. It's just like you can't even run. You can't even get there. So... Next one. This is a really interesting one. Uh, Zverev versus Baez. Of course, by the way, guys, I did put Rafa through to beat Wawrinka. Yeah. For me, Baez isn't at that level yet. I think he could be in a few years. Not yet. Couldn't even beat Nori. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he can beat Zverev. If you yeah, can't beat Nori. Zverev through. For Kina to beat Madalazak yeah, on my side. Yeah. This is where we've got two different ones. I've got Tara Daniel versus Quentin Hells. Ooh. And I'm going to have Tara Daniel advancing. I've got Big John. I'm going to have Big John going through against Barrera. Michael Moe, Taylor Fritz. I'll have Taylor Fritz. What's about Morales versus Taylor Fritz? Fritz is actually not bad on clay, which is annoying. Because I was hoping my qualifier to watch would actually go a bit further. I don't think he's going to go that far. I'm going to have to have him going out. Not great. No, Cam no. Norrie, I'm going to have to beat in Kubler. Yeah, Norrie's a bit of a beast these days as well. This is the thing. There's just level. The more I, we watch these matches, the more I realise there's so many levels to the game. We go into this challenger and watch these players. Yet, yeah, Norrie is just next level. Yeah. Like, it's a bit mad. I've got Hatchinov to beat team. I've got Delhi and Borges here. I'm going to go Borges for another round. Oh, um, he's pushing he's that qualifier it. through a bit. <laughs> he's my number one to watch. I'm not going to put well, him out like you have. Well, sadly, <coughs> yours might go out first round. So Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to have Corder to beat Gasquet. Yep. Alcaraz to beat Kokonakis. Yep, I'll have Rude to beat Rusevori. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yep, same. I'm going to go Sheng to beat Sonego. Mad, because I was actually thinking similar, but now I'm going to change it because you said that. Okay. I'm going to swap. I'm going to have Goffan to beat TFO. Same. I like Goffan's section, actually. It's not bad. Yeah, he's done all right for himself, hasn't he? I'm not have... Hercatch to be under mm. half. I don't know. Hercatch always seems to have a good section <clears throat> on on these draws. Yeah, he's draw... I don't know how. Hercatch always gets a nice draw. I don't I'll have know. Chapo to beat Martinez. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kakin to beat Manure. I have Gaston to beat Cashin and Rune to beat Laxanen. So this section we do have actually quite different. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm actually going to go Ema to knock out Serendolo. I'm going to keep with Serendolo here. 
Uh, I'm going to go Sissipas to beat Kola. It's not a bad draw yeah. for him. I'll have Rublev to beat Manorino. Rublev to beat Del Bonis. Go Garen to beat Garen Pear. to beat Pear. Mackenzie McDonald to beat Bashash Philly, but I don't know about that at all. I've got Bash to beat Agamemnon, or what have you said last Agamemnon. time? Agamemnon. <laughs> uh, Oscar Otte, Yannick Sinner. So interesting stat for oh. everyone listening. Yannick Sinner has only ever lost to Rafa on the Dow at Roland Garros. Nobody's ever beaten him here apart from Rafa. He's probably going to win it then. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Well, he's definitely going to beat Oscar Otte for me. Well, it's not definite. Oscar Otte is class, but I'll have Sinner. Busta, your favourite. I'm going to have beaten Desolate. He's Desolate. got a nice draw as well, isn't he? Yeah, he has. Uh, I'm going to have Chilich beating Futsovic. Kezmanovic beating yeah. Brian Deneck. And this yeah. one I'm going to just pause on, because I want to see what you do. Laszlo Zier, we know he's having a great year. Daniel Medvedev crashed out in the first round uh, of the event he just played. Well, the first match he played <clears throat> against a Frenchman. He doesn't like the clay. Doesn't no, like he doesn't run on Garros too much. Laszlo Jair is perfect for him. Can he beat Daniel Medvedev, Ben? I'm not sure he can. I think Medvedev, the fact he made the quarterfinals last year, I feel that there is something there still. I feel like he has enough to defeat Jair. But I think that, feel that, that may be... I don't know. I don't want to give too much away for the next uh, one. I'm going to have him beating Jair, but look, he's another serve. Okay, for me, he's out. I'm having Laszlo Jair knocking Daniel Medvedev out, Medvedev out. So that is my big call. Daniel Medvedev will not win a single match at this year's Roland Garros. Second seed out early. Oh, my word. JG calling the big shots. So I'm saying. This is where the ball is coming into play, Ben. This is, why well, they start, this is why they call you Benny Nobles. Well, not that big because he's playing in Ketsmanovic next round. So let's see where, how far he goes. <laughs> let's see uh, how top. big your balls are with Rafael Nadal in this draw because we'll find out how big JG's balls are and how far Rafael Nadal travels well, through mean? the draw. What do you mean? What does that mean? He's won it 13 he's won times. It for 13 times. I mean, he, surely I'm going to have him winning it again. Oh, steady on. Let's wait until we get there. Novak Djokovic, oh. Brooksby. We know they've played before. Brooksby did very well against him. Could Brooksby cause the upset? No. I think he takes he takes a set or two. Takes or a set. two. Oh, he's taking two sets. But Djokovic is going to oh, win. Of course he is. I'll have Diego Schwartzman to beat Dimitrov. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll back that. I'd have Felix to beat Opelka. I feel like Felix always seems to make his way through my brackets too easily. How? Yeah, I'm going to have he Felix done, to beat Opelka. He hasn't done well. anything to warrant making his way through oh, these brackets no, so easily. I don't like these names. There's too many big names here. Oh, Colt versus Rafa. Like Rafa. <laughs> Who's your one? I'm going to have Rafa. What, Van der Zandstrup? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have Rafa. Yeah, yeah. For me, <clears throat> sorry, Kotov. I don't think it's uh gonna happen. <laughs> if it does, he's gonna be the next Karatsev. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen at Roland Garros. Zverev, Fakina. I just feel that Zverev's just no, there's just Zverev something will beat Fakina. There's just something that's just bugging me, the fact that I don't want Zverev to win and he just keeps yeah, I thought you would have picked Fakina here. No, there's just something. There's just something about like he just keeps beat get, He keeps getting these draws, and I just don't like it. And well, he keeps not getting anything, so it can't be that good. No, draw. but he gets deep, and he still gets the money. He still gets the points, and it's just bugging me. I just feel like he's been let off for doing what he did. I don't like it. I'm gonna have Fritz to beat Daniel. I I'll got go. Fritz to beat Isner. This is where my qualifier to watch <clears throat> does go. Um, but at least I had him going further than Ben's ones. And I'm going to have, um, yeah, unfortunately, Nuno Borges going out. Cam Norrie advance him. Yeah, I'm going Cam Norrie as well. Go on, GB. Let's go. This is a horrible one. Let's see what, let's see what you think oh, here. Oh, my word. The You've last person to... Alcaraz lost to, wasn't it, Corda? I think so, mate. It's a bit mad. That was it? at like... Monte Carlo. Similar courts to these ones. And he lost Ma to him. 
And this is the big thing that I was saying to everybody. And everyone was saying, like, wow, Alcaraz, he's a dead sir. He's, he's going to win the whole thing. I was like, what happens if he meets Corder on the way? What is the last person? And he is going to meet Corder on the way. I didn't realize that. And that's what I mean. Like, that's what scares oh, me. Oh, mate, this has ruined my whole life. I don't know what to do now. Corder's a horrible job. Who's Corder playing first? Gasquet, potentially, and Millman. I feel they're winnable. Yeah, the problem is if he gets to that stage, he's playing well. And Corder's a bit hit and miss. But if he's having a good thing coming into this one, it's his scary. Dad's, isn't his dad like, go French Alcaraz, Open but... champion? Yeah, he's got it in his blood, mate. He's got them. He's got that French Open blood. I just don't feel that... Mate, I'm having, I, I like... actually am having a crisis, but I'm going Alcaraz. Yeah, but bear in mind that since they played... He, what look what they've both done. Yeah, but Ben, I know what you're doing. You're trying to justify your pick for Alcar as well. Just just do it then. Yeah, yeah. No, but I feel you don't like you need he's... to justify it. I do need to justify it. You don't it. need to do that. I know what you're trying, trying to explain why you've done it, but really it is a maybe a bit of a weak decision by both of us. Because we're not looking at what they've just they've just played each other. Monte Carlo, big really event. Just it's like yeah, it's a similar style court to this, and he lost. That it was a month and a half ago. Okay. He's but he's won two tournaments since. Okay. Listen, if I'm gonna go. Is he the bogey well. player though? Could it be the Karatsev thing? He hates Korda as well. I know. Anyway, Rude saying I'm gonna have Rude. Yeah, Rude Sanego, Rude. Goffan Hercatch. Goffan. Sorry. Oh, that was a bit too quick. I don't know. I just went off the bat. Oh, I don't know if that was a wrong decision. I'm going to go Goffan as well. What? Um, Goffan's getting love. Go on. Chapo, Kaki, and I'm going to go Chapo. I've got Holger Rune versus Hugo Gaston here. That's a big one for the bracket. I'm going to go Hugo Gaston. <laughs> Bloody, <laughs> against hell. Holger Rune. Bloody hell. He no, can't do it in of... Paris. I know, I don't know. There's just something about He does him. like the drop shots there and the crowd. Yeah, I know. There's just something about Gaston and the crowd that's going to get me going. This is not a bad one for me. Sister has to beat Ema. Uh, Rublev to beat Garin. Yeah, Sinner to this... beat McDonald. Chilich to beat Buster. I like them ones. I can fly through them. Yeah. Do you, who do you say on the last one? Yeah, that one you can't fly through. I'll be honest, but I, I can fly through. I don't you like flew, Buster. You, what? No, you can't fly through this matchup. It's close. No, I'm I mean, going Buster. Yeah, Buster, mate. But I am going to fly through it because I don't really like Buster. I'm going to go Chilich. Oh, well, and you've already made your big balls decision in the last well, round. Well, I've got a number Lazo two Lazo seed Gere. out there. He's got oh, his Lazo knocks him out. Well, I'm having him going out in this round. So, oh, oh my God, big balls. Oh, yeah, it's not. God. You left it another round. You can't oh, do that. Oh, my God. The balls are so small now. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm so, going to uh, have Mia Mir Kazmanovic knocking out Zaire. What? The guy knocked out Medvedev gets knocked out next round. Right. Djokovic, Schwartzman. Oh, they've got a close head to head, as we all know. How would this one go? <laughs> yeah, Djokovic has his number, unfortunately. I can't yeah. see that changing. Yeah. Through. Felix, Rafa. I'm going to go Rafa as well. So that sets it up, to be honest. I've already yeah, got, got quarter finals. Novak Djokovic, Rafa on the Dow coming up on Game to Love. Big decision. If you haven't already, hit the like button on this video. It really does help us out. <sighs> Subscribe if you're new. We are going to see it, according to me and Ben, Rafa versus Djokovic. I hope so. So it's very Fritz here. The question is, have these two ever played each other in the past? I'm not even going to look at that. Fritz is taking him. It's knocking Zverev out. I'm doing this off instinct. I think it could happen, but I don't think it's going to happen on clay. I'm going to have Zverev. We've got Kathy in saying, Uncle Tony's nightmare, Rafa Felix. I wonder who's supporting. <laughs> where does he sit? It's a good point. Uh, where does, does, he, does cheer, he sit? Does he cheer Felix winners in nah. that situation? I don't know. Definitely I mean, you've not. got to. You're employed by him as a coach. Nah, he doesn't. He loves him. What do you mean? He loves him. He's... He's his coach. No, nah, but it's Rafa, isn't it? So he's gonna want he's gonna set Felix up to lose. Yeah, you just get rid of him. He'll just, just quit after it. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Uh Nori Alcaraz, I'll have Alcaraz. 
Yeah, it's three love in the head to head. I can't love believe you've gone Zverev. Just pushed him through. Number three seed. I just got a feeling. Number. I just got a feeling that he just so keeps boring, doing it. Man. So he keeps boring. doing it. Do you Boring not think? He no, he getting... doesn't. He's not won anything. I don't know what you keep saying. He no, keeps but he doing. keeps getting through. He keeps the easy draws. So he loses as well. Yeah, I know. But when it matters, he loses. He's not winning anything, but he's still gets these stupid draws. It's Kasper Ruud for me beats Goffan. So Zverev got absolutely demolished by uh, Sissi Alcaraz as well. And then Madrid lost to, Al- for, to Alcaraz. Yeah, Before yeah. that, lost to Holger Rune. I mean, I don't know. I so just feel Kasparud, like Rude. Yeah, I'm gonna have Casper Rude as well beating Goffam. I'll have Sister Pass beating Chapo. Gaston has to beat Gaston. No, I don't feel like. I feel he's outstayed his welcome already. <laughs> Sina Rublev. Ooh. Oh, again. How does this happen in every single the gingers? One? I'm going uh, Sina. I'm going to go Sina as well. Oh no. And Chilich, Kesmanovic. I'm gonna have Kesmanovic. Don't have to think about that one. I got Buster versus Kesmanovic. I'm gonna go Kesmanovic as well. I don't want Buster in there. So we've got yeah, we've got a really similar uh, look to our no quarterfinals. In I terms of let's I think our quarterfinals are pretty much identical, apart from you've got Zverev in there. That's the only difference. I've gone Fritz, you've gone Zverev. I'm just going to have a bit of a silent time for a minute See, right now while you uh, take us through this next bit. No, no, you've got, no, I'm just going to just reiterate to the crowd. You have gone for the third seed. A bit boring, pushing him through. All the seeds there, all the big names. Granted, I have been roped into it as well this year. Um, and it must be just sort of... Just waiting. The screen. Let's stop talking about this. Let's just wait for your pick. Right, let's just get oh, into God. it because it is the business end. It is the big one. Oh. Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal. These drinks. This is the first ever business end of a draw preview. You need to start getting buttons on now. I think that's a good idea. I think so. And with this one, oh gosh, I do find it horrible. Oh. Do you want me to go out of the room for a no, bit while you decide? Or I've got to say. So I, I can, I can leave for a bit. Let me just give my summary. I'm just going to leave. Let me just speak, Ben, please. So, Rafael Nadal, he's got a chronic foot problem. He lives with this foot problem. He's had it for a very long time now. But yet, he says in practice, there's often times he's practicing and he has the exact same thing that happened in Rome like it did against Chapo, and he has to stop the practice completely. For me, it is a massive problem what he's got. But still, if it's not there, which sometimes it's not, and he's able to play through it, then we're seeing some great tennis. And let's not forget the start of the year, which he's had. On the other hand, Novak Djokovic, for me, is warming up. He is really warming up. He started, well, the year very late because of all the vaccine problems. But when he got going, he was really amazing at Rome. And I thought he would come very close against Alcaraz, who didn't put a foot wrong. In fact, it was so it was so fractional. There's a chance he could have won that one. Um, probably the better player in large spells as well. And we saw some amazing shots from him. So Djokovic coming into this one in the better form. I think we're looking at a big match. And when I say a big one, I'm talking sort of semi-final of last year. We could be looking at a five-setter this time. We could be looking at about five hours. It's going to be one we're going to dedicate the whole day to on the stream. But listen, there's only one winner. It's Rafael Nadal. He's going to be knocking out Novak Djokovic, the number five seed, going for 14, going for 22 grand slams. Come on, Rafa, let's get this done and let's defeat Novak Djokovic again. Come on, let's do it. The yeah. hype, let's do it, please. All right, are we done Vamos! with this? Are we done with this? Uh, uh... Mate, no. feels a little bit feels a little bit feels a little, little bit sad really hearing you say it like it I I mean, I I am a bit... hopefully it comes to fruition for you for that uh little thing it feels like a little bit i don't know disingenuous but for me i feel like if Djokovic takes him anywhere close to where he took him to last year i think rafa won't even have his foot to worry about he'll have his legs he'll have his arms he'll have his head he'll have everything to worry about and i think that Djokovic can take him to the deep waters that he doesn't want to go to. If he doesn't already get taken there to the 
by the people that he's facing in the rounds before Rafa. Uh, that's that's the problem for me. I think Rafa has to get it all done in straight sets. I think Djokovic can get his rounds done in four sets, maybe even five sets, and still be fresh for Rafa. I feel Rafa has to be straight sets all the way through. Otherwise, oh he's going to be in problems. Oh, what? And that's Wait, why... Quickly, Ben, just quickly. Did you not say the same thing in the Australian Open? What, was Djokovic in the Australian Open? No, no. You said about Rafa on the down. He has to get things done in straight sets. Otherwise, he's not going to win. You said the exact yeah, same yeah, line yeah, yeah, in the Australian no. Open. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah but he wasn't playing Novak not Djokovic, just was he? The final. Who you was he playing? For every single round, you was like, Rafa needs to get this done in three. Otherwise, he's going to struggle. You always said that. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And who is he up against? Thank you. No, I'm just, who is he up against? Can you, can you clarify who is playing? Uh, Daniel Medvedev. Best okay. hard-court player that, in the world. Okay, not the best hard-court player in the world. Okay. Uh, but Daniel Medvedev and Shapovalov, uh, notably two people who haven't won as many Grand Slams as Daniel Novak Medvedev. Djokovic. Daniel Medvedev's not good, no? On, on a, at the, at the, at the so you think Open. Daniel Medvedev's as good as Novak Djokovic? Uh, so yes, we're just confirming? Yes, so he it, just beat him at the US Open. All right. So he beat him on a year when he had just won three Grand Slams. Yeah, on Djokovic's and... best year, he beat him. You're right. All right. Okay, mate. So what did Djokovic do to Rafa Nadal at last year's yeah. French Open? Mate, should, we, beat... should, we, should we wind back to I last no, year's no, French like Open? A little bit. Should, we, should we go mate, back no, to it's... last year's semi-final a little bit? A bit tall, Let's rewind. Fact, we'll Let's rewind saying, a little really... bit. No, You're don't, talking don't, sense, look, mate, because Medvedev isn't a bad player. Let, no, no, no. I let you had your little bit where you sat on your own little talking. Now let's have a little talk about what happened last year. Rafa was playing some great tennis last year. Djokovic, he was also playing some great tennis last year. They played in a match, which was one, probably the best match of all time. Djokovic outlasted him. And the problem with Rafa in that match with his foot, He's had problems with his foot in the tournament before this. If he gets to play Djokovic again and he gets put through the ringer again, then the foot is going to be a problem again. And we know it. It's been a thing. We don't. You don't know that. Well, we don't know it, but it's well, been a thing. We don't. We know it. We don't know it. In, out, shake it all about. Sounds like you don't know what, what? you're talking about, mate. You just said to me, Daniel Medvedev wasn't the best hardcore player in the world. He's not. He's up there. You can you can make a case for Djokovic. I'm not saying that's completely. You're saying Rafael Nadal's invalid. the best hardcore player in the world, then? Because he's won Australian Open. Of course, he's up there. He's a oh, so brilliant he's, player. Uh, Rafael Nadal's the best hardcore player but in the world. You, you said to me, Daniel Rafael Medvedev Nadal will Australia. not be able to win any matches if he comes back from them or doesn't go to three sets. He proved you wrong in Australia because yeah. that's exactly what he did, and he won it. So you say I'm using that as an argument here, considering this is the slam he's won more than anyone else, and he's so dominant, hardly ever loses. I don't think that's a valid argument. What? But listen, you how put many no times? Through. How many you times no has he met? Through. I'll no, give you a hey. flag. You Stop, can do a no, no. slam. All right, have a great right, time. This Roland Garros. I'll let you finish talking, and then I'll talk so you don't talk over me. How many times has he met Novak Djokovic before the final and beaten him? That's the question. Because the last two times he's played him before the final, he's lost to him. And that's the thing. He's playing him in the quarterfinals. Djokovic said to him, last time I played you in the final, it was terrible. It's the worst place to play you in the final. Now I'm not going to play you in the final, play in the semifinal. I'm going to beat you. And he did beat him. It didn't just beat him in the actual match. He beat him in physicality. He beat him in the fact that his body will last longer on a court than Rafa Nadal. And that's the one thing that Djokovic has over Nadal at the moment is his body will last longer. He can play for seven hours if he has to. Nadal's foot can probably go for about five hours. If you can't last the duration, you won't win the match. And that's what I think that Djokovic has over Nadal. And that's why I'll be picking Novak Djokovic to defeat Nadal. Lovely. Let's move on to the next one. Vamos. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> so, on to the next one. Alcaraz to beat Zverev. <laughs> nice quick one on this one. Get out, Zverev. Stop doing this to my drawers. Get out oh, of my I'm drawers. I'm surprised you've done that. I know you like um, high seeds. Um, Who have you got on your one? Uh, Taylor me. Fritz and Alcaraz. Oh, Taylor Fritz, is he going through? No, I'm actually going to have Carlos oh, Alcaraz. Oh, shock. Oh, God. Oh, JG <laughs> with his crazy predictions. Oh. Listen, I'm going to I'm gonna go Alcaraz to beat Fritz. Good match up, that one. Let's move down to the bottom half. So this is the weaker half, some are, some are calling it. Um, 
but you've still got some big names there. And here we've got Casper Ruud, Sissipas. I'm going Stefano Sissipas. The finalist from last year. He's got a bone to pick with Novak Djokovic. I'm sure he wants to get back to that final. I hope he faces him there again because he had a lot of stuff going against him last year, Sissipas. Obviously, he had his grandmother passing away as well at that time feel really bad for him that he had that at that exact time where he's had his biggest moment of his career. Maybe this year, I mean, it could be this year. He's got the draw is made for him. <coughs> Who's that? It's a pass. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Rude could do him. I don't think that's easy. Rude beat him. I, listen, I'm going to tell you another stat now. I believe last year when Sister Pass won that crazy run, um, he was beating everyone on the clay courts. So he into Roland Garros. Played Rude, lost. That was before straight Roland sets, Garros. I think. Yeah, straight it? sets. Rude, Rude had him. Was it had Madrid? Number. I can't remember. Maybe Madrid. You might be right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to go Stefanos was... on this occasion. The bottom sinner, Kesmanovic. I'm going to go sinner. Yeah, I feel like it. Like your stats ringing in my head at the moment that he's only ever lost to Rafa. So I feel like <laughs> did this new he's deal closer as well. This new Nike deal, <laughs> I feel like he's time, got to live up to something. <laughs> he's got to really live up to the uh, expectation right now, Yannick Sinner. And uh, that's it. I think that's the bottom. Right. So. Mad. This is up to the crazy. top. This is semi-final time. So semi-finals. I've gone for Rafael Nadal Alcaraz and Sister Pass Sinner at the bottom. You've got Djokovic out. How many Karaz. sets is that? How many sets have they been through in the quarters? That's what I want to know. And Sissipas Sinner. What sort of is it? Djokovic uh, Nadal five sets, or is it straight sets Nadal against Djokovic? How well, much one I think it, no, I think it is. It's been a mammoth match. Rafa's okay. just gone through to get here. Okay, so Rafa has gonna... just played a big five-hour match against Djokovic, and then he's going to be playing Carlos Alcaraz. Nice bath. What's he got? Ian Wright, is he in there? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I just, oh, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to end the stream right now. I mean, it's not very nice for me to be in this situation. People clearly know I'm a passionate tennis fan. To be doing these things live, I find it very difficult. I don't know who I'm going to pick. So can you just please go first? Uh, I'm going to go first. You. And I'm going to base this upon uh, <laughs> I'm logic. Little think. Yeah, I'm going to base this upon logic. And just while you're just saying that, guys, in the live chat, if you want to give me a helping hand, um, yeah. which way do you think I should go, Rafa or Alcaraz? And Ben, you you can be telling us what you think. Yeah, obviously, we just saw these two play each other on my bracket. We've got Djokovic, we've got Alcaraz. It was the probably one of the best matches of the year. We had Liam covering it on the channel. It was exciting. Alcaraz looked incredible in that matchup. And... He'd just beaten Rafael Nadal as well. It was just one of those tournaments where Alcaraz just felt like he couldn't lose. It was on the faster hot, uh, clay court, sorry. And Djokovic, I felt like in that match, he was very close to beating Alcaraz. And I think Djokovic was about 60%, 70% max. I don't think he was at 100%, that's for sure. You saw him in Rome, I think he's about 80%. Now I think Djokovic, he's about 90%. If he's made it all this way, draw Alcaraz into a five-setter. I don't think Alcaraz can... I don't think he can stick at, stick it out. I don't think he's been to that deep water yet. Sissipas in five sets is different animal to Djokovic on clay in five sets. I don't think he has the uh, minerals. I think that you're going to have to wait another year yet, Alcaraz. I think Djokovic does you. Yeah. Djokovic into the final. Hell yeah. Oh, he got did, did, it. Did, you, did you watch Rome? Knew it. Did you watch Rome? No, I knew you was doing it. That's all. Did you watch Rome? Did you watch Rome? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I did watch Rome. Okay, cool. As long as we got that. What, are you a parrot? Don't know. Let's hear your parrot status of who you're putting in the final. Well, I've got two Spaniards at the top. Rafael oh, Nadal, Carlos no. Alcaraz. Two players who played each other recently. Alcaraz, my memories of that match actually weren't very great. Uh, Alcaraz. It's a one-sided affair. It was a one-sided affair. Rafa took the second set, but 
didn't look great at all. I think Alcaraz was well, he's clearly injured, rolled his ankle, and still managed to come back and win the third in remarkable fashion. Um, he just schooled him. He really did. And the only thing I'm thinking about here, I think actually Alcaraz is the better player right now. I would pick Alcaraz to win this matchup anywhere in the world on any surface. Oh, God. But not on Philip Shatterer. Not on Philip Shatterer. Not with the crowd, I think, against him. I think they're going to be supporting Rafael Nadal. Even with one leg? Listen, I think the shot clock, I think someone did mention it as well. Um, they do. They, they tend to stop the shot clock and <laughs> Philip Shatter. He seems to have a little few extra seconds. I mean, Rafa's going to be at home. The occasion could get to Alcaraz. We saw him playing at the Young Gen Finals. Um, and no, not the Young Gen Finals. What was the one where he's really struggled in? Uh, out Which atmosphere one? wise. What? Back Alcaraz? in the last year, he lost to. Oh, what? the pa- That was in Paris. Paris. When he lost to Paris Bursi yeah. lost to Gaston. And he just was all over the place. It's going to be such a big task, this is. This is Roland Garros. And he's been giving it the big one as well, Alcaraz. I think I'm going to have Rafa beating him. I'm having Rafa in my final. Um, I've been saying Alcaraz is winning Roland Garros the last week. Ben will vouch for Every, that. Anybody, anybody who asks Every, him who's winning Roland Garros today, today, today someone asked like, me today Alcaraz work. is winning it. Someone Alcaraz asked me today at work. Win. Yeah, and I did say Alcaraz is winning Roland Garros. I think he's only not picking him because I saw it said that JJ is going to pick Alcaraz to win it, so he's going against. No, so he I'm doesn't want. It. He doesn't no. want me to be right that who he picked. No, I'm going to go Rafa. I'm going to go Rafa on the Dow. I think Rafa is going to beat Carlos Alcaraz and get into another final. Uh, there we go. Let's move to the bottom before I change my Part mind. Me that thinks that Felix could beat Rafa. I don't know why. I don't know. There's just something weird about this draw. I don't know. I'm not brave enough to pick it. It's all about his foot, man. If he can keep his foot there, yeah, he can be injecting it, it. It totally it, is. It's this tournament is Rafa's foot in a nutshell. Is Rafa's foot can can it last two weeks? That's the big question. Can it? He. I've. I know. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I still feel like. The first week has to go smoothly. It has to be like a real, like, it has to be training pretty much for Rafa. Just like, bum, bum, bum. Like, just get them out of the way. And then Rafa's okay for the second week. Because the second week, I feel like his mental side is where you're really going to see what he's made of. Like, how much can he push push the foot? Like, is it going to last for, like, three matches? I don't know. It's, it's real tough. So how you going on the bottom? So we do have uh, Vanchin saying foot Garros. He's calling it. We've got <laughs> uh, John Garros. Silkin. How are we doing, John? Uh, let hey. us know who your pick is to win as well. He's saying, is he taking injections? I mean, I hope so in a way because I think he'll need steroids. To, if he's all right and he doesn't need to, then he's going to be fine. <laughs> don't don't do that. I'm joking, man. I, I know that I'm that just long. feeding the narrative for all the other. Yeah, I'm going to kick you out in a minute. Fans. Oh god, again. So listen, sister pass or sinner, Ben? I think we know which way you're going. Yeah, for sure. I think we're going to have a rematch of last year's final. That's why. That's just why I feel it's going to go. What are you going to have? Uh, I'm actually going Yannick Sinner. I think Sinner's going to beat him. This is the coming of age. Um, All right. I like Yannick Sinner a lot, and if he can keep his blisters at bay. And he's yeah, not going to pull out. You called some... Sinner a bit of a poor show. I, I, he's not really. That's my, it's a bit my, my worry is a bit weak, I've found recently. I'm I mean. worried about his physique in terms of a bit of a lightweight. Um, but technically, and his ability-wise, I actually think he's going to be, mate, he's going to be a real contender for this. He's great. I like a bit of Yannick Sinner. No one's talking about him either. I think he beats this to pass, gets to his first Grand Slam final. I don't know. For me, the head-to-head is far too dominant in favour of Sissipas. Sissipas, if he turns it on and he is the Sissipas we know and love from last year, I just feel that this section is just there for the taking for him. He's not even going to worry about Yannick Sinner. I feel like he'll probably walk over him and uh, defeat him in straight sets. That's why, that's why I feel like... I don't feel Sinner's even got to the level. He should be. I keep saying it. Sinner, get to the gym... Build yourself up and start becoming a more powerful player because that's what you need to do to start like avenging some of these losses against people like Sissipas. I just that's the, that's what my personal feeling is. I feel that Sinner 
he can be number one if he has more power. Let's move to the final. Just shout out to Jamie Drama for the Cheers, Super Jamie. Cup. And Nadal will risk the rest of the year to win the French. I agree completely. This is his priority. Uh, no yeah. one can tell me anything else. Wimbledon's up in the air at the moment with points. I mean, he's not going to really worry about Wimbledon too much. Nah. Everything needs to go into Roland Gauss. Every sinew of energy, medication, whatever he has to do to keep the foot going, he needs to push it to the, to the limit. And we know he's capable of doing that. He's been there more times than anyone else. And I do have him in my final against Yannick Sinner. And I feel if we do get this matchup, the decision is kind of made a little bit. Yannick Sinner... He often loses. The only person who only loses, loses. To is to Rafael Nadal at Roland Garros. He is a little frail. I'm going to cut straight to it. Rafael Nadal is going to win his 22nd Grand Slam, his 14th Roland Garros title. He's going to open the gap between the goats and have a two cushion of Grand Slam lead against Novak Djokovic. I'm going Rafa to win the final against Yannick Sinner. Vamos. <laughs> the mini Vamos is, I like it. Uh, for me, I feel that last year was the one, uh, it was one of the most epic finals ever. I mean, it was a five-set thriller, but we just saw them in the final in Rome, Sissipas and Djokovic, and it seemed like it was like a man versus boy style match. I don't know what happened to Sissipas in that final. Got bageled, finally started playing in the second set. This part of me feels like this is going to be like a four-set final. I don't feel that it's going to be the five-set from last year. I feel like Djokovic is going to win it in four. I feel like Sissipas will have a set. Ooh, Djokovic but that's... in four. So you're going to even up the race. The yeah, I think it's going to be level. I think we're going to be 21 apiece after this. And then Rafa will be forced to play Wimbledon, <laughs> surely, after that. <laughs> I mean, if he puts everything into I want to be there at Wimbledon not. to see Rafa. Come on, Rafa, come to Wimbledon. Don't oh, miss man. Wimbledon. We're going to be there this year, aren't we? I know, yeah, we are going to be there. And that sums up our Roland Garros slash French Open <laughs> predictions. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get to our players to watch. We've given our qualifiers to watch. This is the dark horse, as per se. What, how we do this, it needs to be, because it's a grand slam, there's so many players, 20 or above. Or, yeah. or above 20 so or above. In. I haven't even um, looked yet, which is terrible, isn't it? I mean, like... it's not, I don't think it's that difficult for me. Um, okay. In fact, I know it's really not difficult. I've got him going all the way to my quarterfinal. I'm going to have Mia Mir Kezmanovic as my dark horse to win this year's Roland Garros. And being on the bottom side of the draw, yeah, I think I was nice. always going to pick my dark horse from that side. Not Laszlo, yeah? Listen, no, no, don't call, <laughs> call me crazy, yeah? Because Manoch can win the whole thing. I think he draws nah. that nice. Okay, no, not, I'll call you crazy. Yeah, no, no, but listen, like, I know Sapo Sinner in the final. If he can beat Sinner, I mean, the, he avoids all of the big names. He avoids Alcaraz, he avoids Djokovic, Nadal. He can get all the way to the final without playing any of them. It's true. Medvedev's not a real threat. He just isn't. He really isn't. That's a, It's such a shame, isn't it? We've got the number two player in the world, and he's not even a threat at a Grand Slam. Uh, Kesmanovic well, is the dark horse. I think that is the real answer here. I think a lot of people agree. I know we've got Capricorn in the live chat agreeing. Uh, some people just said I've lost it, and they don't like any of my bracket. Well, good luck to everyone. Um, hopefully you're in that league, and I'll be interested to see where you all come. Um, yeah, I think Ketsmanovic is a really good one. Um, I, I can't really compete with that because he's the deepest person. I've got over 20 in my bracket. Probably the other person after that I've got is Goffan, but I yeah. feel, don't like his route really much. He's got to play maybe her TFO, her well, Lehechka, TFO, her catch and rude. I feel that's a terrible draw and. I don't know if I want that as my person with a dark horse. Maybe I'll go. Maybe well, go. Seb just, just one thing. Oh. Be careful. Go John Silk will be bringing these because uh, the Silk reports will be coming back for Roland Garros. And I'm oh, sure no. he's, got, he's got a notepad at the ready right now, jotting down your dark horse. So if he does go out first round, Ben, it will be sure to have a mention on the, the latest Silk report. Well, let's make sure as long as there's so just, a mention. I want to hear it loud and clear. 
As long as there's a mention for JG's uh, one that goes out as well, that's all we need to okay, know. Okay, so who is your dark horse? Just clarify, because you're umming and erring a little bit. Oh, I don't know. I'll go Corda just because it's, it's just it's a, Joe Biden. a random one. Corda, yeah. You're right. Donald Trump, you done with your thing? <laughs> Looking a bit orange down your side. That's all. I, I was calling is him it clay Sleepy on your Joe. face? I was going? calling him Sleepy Joe in the grab, and you can see why now. No, no, he had a bit of clay on his face, Vinza Greb. So the Donald Trump was the uh, joke there as well. Right, yeah. We've got Orchid Panda saying, I love Corda. Uh, R saying, I think Kesmanovic. So people are agreeing. Uh, Jamie Johnson saying, the John Silk Report with the Dow exclusive. Yeah, that would be great. Let's wait and see. Yeah, let's wait. Thanks for joining us. It is very late (laughs) here in the UK. Uh, We'll be doing the women's one tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for more draw previews. And make sure to enter the bracket. You win $500 and a GTL prize as well. So thanks, guys, and see you soon.